I, I guess they always say you'd rather take an ugly win than, uh, than a pretty loss. And it's just one of those one of those games. Uh, you know, just just tell me what you guys had to go through today. Uh, you uh, know. Nothing new in Florida. Nothing new for this team. Uh, just another delay. Uh, another thunderstorm. Another wet game, and we showed up to play. Uh, and I'm thankful and glad that the football god smiled upon us and allowed us to play fast and play physical uh, and keep and keep our minds focused on the game. Uh, the game couldn't have started off uh, that much worse for you guys. I think you had three turnovers, your first <laughs> yeah, three possessions. You're absolutely. down 14 nothing. Uh, how are you guys able to kind of you know put those behind you and kind of kind of stick uh, with the plan? You know what? It's it's we tell our guys win by any means necessary. You got to answer the bell whether you like it or not. You got to step across the, the white line, and you got to put 100 percent on the line. Not only do your coaches demand from you, but uh, your teammates demand more from you. And that's what we talk about our guys is making sure hey we communicate and let's understand our expectations for each other. And that's how we get through tough moments like that. We just got to understand that hey my teammates demand more from me and I got to give more. Was it one of the stranger games flow-wise for you guys? Because it's a third quarter, I think you had like four or five, sorry, four interceptions, and all of a sudden you guys are up by, up by 20. But then, you know, it kind of uh, it seemed like the guys maybe like let off the gas pedal a little bit. Did you guys, is, did you feel as coaches that happened? Uh, oh, yeah, you? absolutely. I, I think first and foremost, that starts with me. You know, that starts with me. I mean, I, they, they, they understand me and they feed off me. I've got to understand that we've got to keep our foot on the gas pedal, uh, especially in tight games like this when there's a trophy on the line, when there's when there's a when there's a sense of uh, history between the two teams. And uh, we got to make sure we just keep playing ball, period. Uh, just uh, if you could talk about the uh, you know, the defensive effort today. I mean, I think six forced turnovers. There at the end, you know, there's a couple of personal fouls. All of a sudden, they've got the ball inside the 40 and another turnover there. Uh, you know, just just to, if you could talk about the defensive effort and, and what they did today. Um, you know, what, hats off to the defensive staff, Coach Freiberger, uh, Coach Gachette, and Coach uh, Lamar Gallegos, Coach Beveridge. Uh, they do a really good job week in and week out, dialing up those X's and O's and making sure our kids are in the right places at the right times. Uh, I think we do a really good job in practice of how we approach practice and uh, how we conduct ourselves during practice. We just got to make sure that we implement some type of system that allows us to continue fighting the game and playing strong throughout practice and so we're going to look back at the drawing board and make sure that our guys continue to do what they're supposed to do at a high level through four quarters.